All right, so for today's little video, we've got a tech tip here. What's uh, sitting in front of me is a 4.0 liter Ford V6 single overhead cam. And I uh, hit a tripping point. There's a bunch of really good videos online on how to go through and do a timing job on this engine. So you can see that the engine's already out of the car, everything's all stripped off, and we're ready to go. Go to start our reassembly, and we run into a little bit of a snag. And that has to do with the timing of the balance shaft. That's what's seen here is the balance shaft. Late model Ford 4.0s, apparently it looks like they switched to just having balance shafts on all these engines. However, and this is where the real hiccup comes across, all of the online tutorials have a different timing assembly. Let's zoom out just a little bit here and I'll kind of explain what's up with this. So all of the other videos that I was able to find on YouTube have a different timing uh, marks and assembly on the balance shaft here. The This particular one has a single dot and has a bunch of lines on here associated with uh, this gear, but you can't time the shaft to the crankshaft with just these marks. And that, that's really where the source of confusions are. The other timing uh, procedure, or the other, the other version of this assembly, and for those of you who are curious, this uh, part number on this, it is a genuine forward balance shaft. Part number is 8L2E6A311-AA. It's, instead of having two marks that you line up with this hole, and another mark that you line up with a split on the bearing assembly, the shaft is completely different. I only have one mark here and six marks on this gear and you can't time with this gear. It doesn't line up with anything. Uh, there are six identical marks and no matter how much you turn the shaft, when the dot lines up with the hole, a line lines up with the bottom of the gear and there's no opposing mark. So it was very confusing as to what to do and it took a while to sort out that there is in fact a different timing procedure for the late model Ford 4.0 liter V6 engines for the balance shaft. So we're going to change the camera angle here and do our very best to get a better shot of where the actual timing mark resides and then we'll go through and time the balance shaft for, uh, for this video. And hopefully that'll help out some other people who are completely lost as to how to go through and time this item. And uh, at the end of the day, it is possible to simply delete the balance shaft or just simply not hook it up. Uh, but that didn't feel like the right answer to me. And uh, it seemed like a lazy way around the fact that the, the information just isn't there. So I, I dug a little deeper and I found a procedure and that's what we're going to go through here. Okay, so we've moved around to the back of the engine. I apologize for the light in the background washing out the image. But this is the back of the balance shaft. Uh, if I put my hand up over on this side, this is the front of the engine, I can rotate the balance shaft like this. Now, what's deceptive here is that the actual secondary timing mark for this particular balance shaft uh, style is up inside this little peak hole here. They didn't bother to put a mark on the end of this to line up or anywhere easy, no. There's a drilled hole on a face up inside this assembly that you have to look for. And it's actually uh, visible. Actually, that's a really good point. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll just change the camera position and we'll show where it's visible from. Okay, so we've changed camera angle again. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this out of there. And I'm gonna rotate this backwards until the timing mark is visible again. Okay, so the way that Ford has done this, we have a window opening here in the back side of the shaft, and we have a mark on the barrel of the harmonic balancer. It's not a mark, it's a drilled hole in the face of this balance surface right here on the back side. So that right here is your timing mark. This is pretty poor, it's actually really hard to see that. So what I did is I just went and got a short, small screwdriver out of my stash of stuff like this, and I jammed it in there, jammed it in there, and then rotate the shaft. And there we go. 
it drops in. Now at that point, that kind of sets the timing here. It would honestly be better if I think I, I think it would be better if I had a bigger pin, but this is just what I'm using for now. Now if we take this and we rotate it around the front, we can clearly see hold on a second here. We can clearly now see that the timing mark on the front gear is in line with the hole on the front. And what I'm going to do here is read verbatim from the Ford shop manual for these years of vehicles. So the section has two different, or the, the manual has two different sections associated with the balance shafts. It has notes for early build vehicles and it has notes for late build vehicles. Now my wife's car is a late build vehicle. It's a 2010 Ford Explorer which is very near the end of the production run for these. And the I'm going to read verbatim from the manual. Note, due to the gear ratio between the reversal shaft and the balance shaft, up to seven complete turns of the balance shaft may be required to find the right position. Now what are they telling us here? Well, if you pay attention closely on the front of this duha, there's actually a pair of gears up here that drive the balance shaft and the uh, gear that mounts to the actual chain drive is larger in diameter than the gear that mounts to the balance shaft. Consequently, they spin at different ratios. And because of the way that they've set this up for timing, you might have to turn this bad boy up to seven times to find the correct alignment. Um, and it's going to be very obvious whether or not it's right or wrong. So what I did to get myself the correct alignment, what I did to get myself the correct alignment is I simply sat here and I pulled this little pin out, did another rotation and checked if I was aligned or not, and then put it back in. So basically, uh, as soon as you pull it out, you can put a little bit of pressure on there and then you'll feel it. And if we go check on the front again, it will be out of alignment. So that's really what we're looking to do is set the timing in this way. It, there's only really one place. If it's off, it's going to be off by one seventh of a turn. It's going to be very obvious that it's wrong. So the instructions go on to say to align the timing marks and it says align the front balance shaft gear alignment marks with the hole in the balance shaft housing. So that's the single dot on the front sprocket and the hole right next to it on the front that you saw in the video. And then it says from the rear of the balance shaft, make sure the balance shaft gear alignment mark is visible through the hole in the balance shaft housing. Again, that's over here. You can actually see it and you can see it from the side right here. Um, it is visible, it is doable, and once you understand what it's doing, it's a fairly simple timing procedure. I just couldn't find anything online about it. So there you go. For those of you with these motors trying to do a timing job, this should shed a little bit of light on uh, what was quite a frustration, trying to figure out how to put it back together. Um, I've been reading around on the Ranger forums. Apparently you can delete this thing, but you have to put a blocker plate in there because oil does flow through both ends or at least at least one end maybe both ends of this shaft to lubricate the bearings and I just didn't want to mess with that I wanted it to be correct and right and to have the balance shaft in it for a smooth running motor so you'll have to forgive the lighting here uh, it is now actually evening in my shop but uh, here's the final assembly uh, with the cam chain tensioners in place with the style of uh, harmonic balancer that I have in my vehicle and you can see here that the keyway is in the 12 o'clock position on the motor uh, and the timing mark on the balance shaft is in line with the timing hole on the front of the cover the uh, screwdriver that I had in place on the rear of the balance shaft has now been removed and everything is officially good to go so that is how to go through and time the alternate balance shaft assembly